By this time, the bow should have thoroughly cured, although not be 100% dry as yet. So we unwrap the rubbers from the bow, remove the bow from the former, and it will then have a further 48 hours to cure before any more work is carried out on the stave. This gluing and curing time is not a job that can be rushed. So normally we'll be gluing bows up one week that we won't be tillering until the following week. Once the bows come off the former, we clean off the glue on the back of the bow in particular because as it dries it becomes razor sharp. So while it's still very slightly soft, we can easily sand it off leaving the stave much easier to handle. Once the stave has thoroughly cured for a further 48 hours, we can start to mark it out. So we mark out the centre line and the handle area, and then using a template, we mark out the profile of the back of the bow. This is then very carefully cut out using the bandsaw, removing the excess material and cutting obviously outside of the line we've marked. Once the stave has been cut to width, we use another template to mark out the handle profile and remove the excess material from the riser block. Having cut the bow out on the bandsaw, we now smooth the saw cut on the sander to leave a smooth, even edge to the bow, making sure that we retain the marked out pencil line on the stave. This is about the last time that we can use a machine usefully in the production of a longbow. After this, all of the work is done by hand. We put the bow back into the vise, remark the handle area so that it's clear to see. And then using a combination of rasp, scraper, file, we rough shape the bow into a D section, rounding the edges of the hickory and shaping into the handle area of the bow. With practice and experience, this doesn't take too long and we can make sure that the stave is smooth and even, there are no hollows in the wood and when we start to tiller it, there are no nasty shocks. The finished stave is now rounded, the handle tapers nicely into the riser, and we're ready to start tillering the bow.